This is World in Two Minutes. Macedonia has begun two days of mourning for eight police officers who were killed in an armed conflict in Komonova on May 9th. Eight police officers and 14 members of the armed group were killed. 37 police officers were injured. The conflict began when police conducted a raid against an armed group suspected of planning attacks on civilians and government targets. The attack comes three weeks after 40 ethnic Kosovian Albanians gained partial control of a Macedonian police station and demanded the creation of an Albanian state. Malaysian police detained 1,018 Bangladeshi and Rohingya refugees who arrived to the country by boat. They will be handed to the Immigration Department for illegal entry. The announcement came as Indonesia said a second boat carrying hundreds of Rohingyas has been rescued off Indonesia's far west coast. This came a day after 600 asylum seekers from Myanmar and Bangladesh were rescued off the coast of Aceh. Thousands of stateless Rohingya Muslims denied citizenships have fled violence and poverty in Myanmar since 2012. The euro has declined by 0.6% to 1.11 against the dollar from May 7th's high of 1.14. The currency fell prior to a European finance minister's meeting. The Greek debt crisis will be discussed along with Greece's May 12th IMF repayment deadline. Greece has been in talks with its international lenders for months as it tries to unlock a remaining $8 billion of bailout loans. The ECB insists on comprehensive and detailed lists of reforms before unlocking the loans. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe's government has passed a package of bills to implement a drastic change in security policy. It would expand the role of the nation's military in the US-Japan alliance and allow Japan fighting abroad for the first time since World War II. However, surveys show Japanese voters are deeply divided over the shift. See you next time. Istanbul.